G'day there ladies and gents of the internet, I am the Braveheart Aussie and welcome to a journey in world building. Just a quick reminder that my Patreon has now formally launched and you can go over there and support me to get a number of cool content related rewards. This includes my very first lore card so go and check out the link in the description below. So far in this series the concepts we've explored, the death of earth, space travel technologies and FTL sickness all have a strong nexus with the future historical foundations of our universe. Today I would like to step into the universe itself and explore the basic premise of what is the Dark Diaspora. Firstly, why Diaspora? Well, it's a somewhat abstract but nevertheless commonly used term in geopolitics and demography and anthropology, referring to the widespread dispersal of a people or ethnic group away from their original homeland. Examples include the Jewish diaspora prior to the formation of the State of Israel, as well as the Irish and Greek diasporas, referring to the widespread emigration of these peoples around the world from their respective countries. Diasporas have a unique attribute of remaining culturally connected and consistent, while being spatially and geographically isolated and fragmented. For me, this was the ideal description of the post-Earth status of humanity. We lack a homeworld, we have been cast out into the galaxy and dispersed and isolated from one another. Yet we ultimately remain humans, one species, with strong cultural and socio-ethnic bonds. It also reinforces the notion that almost all communities and colonies are small, focused principally on their own survival and subsistence with minimal to no real opportunity to engage with the wider civilization. This means that when faced with the horrific dangers of the galaxy, helper is not simply just a call away, that despite being part of something greater, that collectivism is only in name. This theme of isolation helps reinforce some of the grim dark elements of the universe, while also providing opportunities for countless, limitless even, independent settings uncontaminated by the rest of the universe to be established and explored. So what is the Dark Diaspora itself? Well, in short, it's principally a name. It's not the name of a pangalactic political or governing entity, it's something of a term to represent the sphere of influence and the, or the extent of humanity in the galaxy. The Diaspora is some 10,000 light years in diameter, with Old Sol in the center, and encompasses around 400,000 stars, of which around 1% have some form of human presence. This includes a reasonable number of moderately developed planets, as well as hundreds if not thousands of more primitive outpost colonies and installations. In some ways it feels more like humanity is everywhere across the Diaspora, pervasive and resilient. Yet on the other hand, people living in many of the outposts and settlements are so isolated that they may never see a ship or pod from another system in their entire lives. This juxtaposition reinforces the competing concepts in our universe between unity and isolation. In terms of unity, the Dark Diaspora lacks any form of pan-human government. There is no galactic senate, no emperor of humanity. We are fragmented and governed only almost exclusively at the local level. This reflects the fact that the most pressing matters impacting everyday people in our universe are themselves local issues, requiring targeted, often uniquely tailored responses by empowered local authorities. What pan-civilization institutions, or at the very least consistencies, do exist are principally economic through trade and cultural, namely religious, and we will touch on both of these topics in upcoming videos. I also think it's not unreasonable to expect that after a half a millennia since the fall of Earth, some power blocks and regional authorities have emerged. While these are generally the exception rather than the rule, I envisage there are a handful of multiplanetary groupings of varying different government philosophies. I believe these will provide something of a steadfast touchpoint for explorers of the universe in the face of potential maelstrom of infinite chaos that otherwise defines the diaspora. We will explore some of these power groupings in detail in the future when we talk about settings, however I envisage there will be a number of major and minor independent planets, multi-planetary regional authorities, more loosely aligned groups of planets and settlements, as well as coalitions of smaller outposts. Each of these different groupings offer opportunities for new and different socio-political structures and systems, each crafted and moulded in the crucible of unique challenges and horrors. 
It also opens up the universe to opportunities for conflict and tension, as each power seeks to position itself to outmaneuver the other and to address inherent power imbalances. So that is like a super duper high level overview of the Dark Diaspora, but hopefully this discussion has afforded you with some appreciation of the attributes and themes of a dispersed, isolated human civilization. It will also provide the foundation for further concepts to be explored in greater detail in the coming weeks, particularly subjects such as religion, commerce and trade, and those key power blocks. And that is where we're going to leave this video here today. Thank you to everybody who has joined me to date on this journey. As per the beginning of this video, make sure you go and check out my Patreon link. Also, I've now established a formal channel schedule, which I released a couple of weeks ago as a post on my YouTube channel. The current schedule is that we will have a world building episode from this series here, released every Thursday, with a corresponding lore video released on the Friday. I've also taken the opportunity to take the lore video and cut it up into some YouTube shorts, each sub one minute, which are going to be released on Saturdays and Tuesdays ahead of the next video the following week. But that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Hope you all have a wonderful day and may the journey continue.